Um Adnan says that if someone was not practicing and he used to fast few days and miss few days, now he is chronically ill and he's unable to make up for the missed days, should they feed poor person for every day missed or not, first of all? If a person skips fasting due to a legitimate reason, as mentioned in the Quran, those who are sick or traveling, they must compensate and make up later on. So these are two legitimate excuses for skipping fasting and likewise for those who have their monthly period or postnatal bleeding. They are considered to be sick, so once they recover and do not have any obstacles to prevent them from fasting, they must make them up. The second type is of a person who simply does not have a legitimate reason. Just before Fajr, he thinks and says, I'm too lazy, I'm not gonna fast today. This type of person who intentionally skips a day of Ramadan, cannot make it up. And even if he does, it would not be counted. So you do not feed a poor person for such a day that was missed. Why? Because he deliberately intended not to fast, though Allah has prescribed fast fasting uh, over him, in a particular time, that is the day of Ramadan, can I fast the month of Ramadan in Muharram or in Rabi'ah or in Rajab? Of course not. Why? Because Allah prescribed it to be fasted in this particular month. So anyone who comes without a legitimate reason and skips it and wants to fast it elsewhere, that would not be accepted. Exactly like Zuhr prayer. The adhan is given, I'm at my desk working or in a meeting. They say, let's pray. I said, no, I'm not going to pray now. Maybe if I finish work, I'm going to pray. They come and say, listen, there's five minutes before Asr adhan. Go and pray. I say, no, not now. And then Asr adhan is given. So I said, oh, yalla, I will go now and pray. No, it will not be accepted. The prescribed time is from this to that, and you intentionally missed it. Likewise, Arafah is on the 9th of the Hijjah. You come a couple of days early and go to Arafah and stand there alone, your Hajj is invalid. You come five days later and stand in Arafah alone, is, Hajj is not valid if you did not stand a moment in the daytime of the, or nighttime of Arafah, then your Hajj is invalid because it is prescribed at a specific time. The third case would be if a person started fasting, so he intended to fast, and at, ten, at 9 or 10 o'clock, he felt dizzy, tired, or lazy, and he was tempted to break his fast. Such a person must make up for that day. What's the difference? The difference is that person number two did not intend to fast to begin with, while person number three had commenced fasting and broke it. And whenever you commence a ibadah, a form of worship, and you break it intentionally, you have to make it up. This will not exempt you from the sin, but as a punishment, you have to make it up because it's a pillar that you have voided yourself and you have to make that up. So if he is number one or number three, if he's sick chronically, or he's number three that he broke his fast after commencing it and he's unable to make it up now, he should feed a poor person. If he did not fast at all, from the beginning, if he's number two, there is no expiation and he cannot make it up. All what he needs to do is 
to ask Allah for forgiveness.